thing before I wind up in this tutorial. If you guys notice, if you guys notice something, uh, go, no, notice something. Uh, I'll just tell you the concept of uh, the uh, concept of memory in uh, P in PDF viewers. Now, what's like what's what is this? I'll just explain what's going on. See, if I were to uh, change this. Uh, source code over here in Python and if I were to compile this compile this and make the correction you see what happens is that this PDF file just refreshes re just refreshes and goes back to and stays in the same page where the last correction is made okay now what I'm going to do instead of that instead of this okay now uh, instead of this I'm going to make a correction over here R power 2 R raised to 2 okay now I'm going to make a correction over here A equals pi R raised to 2 so okay now if I were to compile this enter it just refreshes it refreshes but the point is when you when it refreshed okay it did not go uh, it did not go to the place where the last correction was made you see this correction indeed came out over here nicely but it did not refresh and go back to the uh, to the place where the last correction was made that can be a problem uh, this this means okay that mean what i mean is this is what you call as uh, memory the uh, PDF viewer does not have the memory of where the uh, la correction was made. All it has is that it just has a memory of where the where the last viewed page was. So if, even if I close it, so if I close it, okay, and if I open this file again, it just it uh, it just opens up to the place where the last uh, lastly viewed part. So this part this PDF has memory as to, as to what page was viewed lastly, but it does not have the memory of the last correction that is made. And that part is can I mean uh, that is actually uh, uh, available in certain other PDF viewers. So just a reminder. So if you guys were working with the uh, external PDF viewer, so it kind of becomes it sometimes it becomes necessary if, uh, if you have a PDF viewer that does like this job. Okay, now in then uh, that's about this part. That's about this part. Okay, and uh, what I'm going to do is that now I'm going to tell talk about another concept called as uh, citing and cross referencing. Now this is actually an important topic because. Uh, because uh, you see when you have a document a big document now let me just uh, fit with okay now if you have a big document like this it might be necessary for you to cross reference the contents cross reference the contents for instance like uh, if you want if you have some code snippets figures, tables, equations, bibliography entries and so on. If you want to cross refer them in the entire document, what you have to do is that you just have to know about the citation commands and the reference commands. And if you want to use them, there are two things you have to keep in mind. First, first thing, make sure that uh, all the things that you're going to refer to have something called as a label, a label. Okay. So wherever you, if you are referring to a figure, put a label. In the put a label. If you're referring to a table, have a label for the table. An equation, give a label. A bibliography. For bibliography entries, you don't need a label. You just need a key keyword name that uh, that we saw in the last time. That we saw last time. Okay. And if you want to have a code snippet, as we saw in the minted program, as we saw in the minted uh, option over here, you you again need uh, a label. Okay. Once you have a label for all of this, you can just refer to them anywhere in the document. For instance, for instance, um, include the label, and then for instance, let's say I want to refer to tables. Okay. To refer to the table, uh, all I have to do is that I just have to write table and then put ref backslash ref and then write the label name. That's it. So if you put this, it will go to refer to the table uh, number over here, number corresponding to that uh, keyword name or this label name and then call it over there okay so in this way what happens is that if you have a unique name like the unique name for each and every table and each and every 
equations, equation array or figure or anything, then what happens is that the reference, uh, when you refer it, when, when you go on writing in a document and if you add more and more and more contents into it, add more and more contents into it, um, because the names are ident because the names are unique, referring them is easy and if you have changes in numbers or anything, uh, LaTeX will take care of it all on its own. So, so that way, that way you don't have you don't have the, you don't have to worry about the uh, uh, citing and cross referencing issues cross referencing issues okay and there's one more thing about reference referencing you can also refer the page you can also uh, use this uh, labels for uh, sections super section subsections and sub subsections and uh, sub uh, sec sections as well and you can also put this for chapters as well so what you have to do whenever you write a chapter or anything just write ref sorry you just write a la backslash label and give a la label for the chapter name or the section name like that and so on and so forth and once you do that you can just refer to some other talk some other place uh, some other place inside the document just saying that chapter slash chapter chapter uh, label one like that and so on and you can refer to the chapter as well and it becomes easy for you that becomes easy for you and uh, that way you can refer to anything so you have you have i mean and one more thing is that you can also refer to the code snippets and to refer to the code snippets this works if you have a minted library if you have this minted library okay that's one advantage which i found uh, if you were to use the listing library the listing i'm not sure how it worked but as, as far as i've seen it becomes a little hard a little bit a little bit complicated not complicated a little bit hard with that but anyway but anyway, uh, if you work with uh, listing and uh, minted environment, what you have to do is to just write the caption label name, and then you can just do ref, and that's it. Once you do it, uh, the code snip the code snippets have a name called list listing one, listing two, and like that, and they just go on in increase in this order. So you can just refer code snippet or just listing one, like that, and go on, so on. And also one more thing is all of these options, all of these labels have an option called as page ref. Now what does page ref does is that it will just refer to the page wherein the con content is present. For instance, in the document, uh, CS1, CS1 is actually in page number 3. So this uh, this line says that code snippet 1, this is the listing 1, in page 3 refers to a meta code for C, whereas while code snippet ref CS uh, colon 2 in page CS colon 2, page ref refers to metadata for a Python code. See, if you see, uh, this code is in page number four. You see this page name, page number four. It just automatically updated over here. But this is code snippet two, and it's in page number four. It just updated properly, and that's about it. And this way, what happens is that if you want to, uh, this is how you decide a uh, cross refer options. Give a label, and then use a refer option, ref command to refer to the key, refer to them. So as far as the label convention go by, give any name you want, but make sure that you understand what's going on. So this is ref, ref for page ref, ref for, ref, ref for referencing the uh, section or part of the document and page ref for indicating the page, where in, in page wherein the part you're referencing is present. That's about it. And everything else is fine. Everything else is fine. This way, your tutorial on citing and cross-referencing is also over. Over. Now, uh, in the next tutorial, what in the next tutorial, what we'll do is that we'll just uh, talk about. Uh, we'll just talk. We'll just talk about uh, uh, a very uh, some min minute leftover topics before I go to uh, some advanced. Before I go to two more advanced topics. And, and then we'll go for we'll go to make uh, th uh, a th thesis template of our own okay so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time so take care